Hey guys, guys and, and welcome, welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. crap. I was itchy. Now I have this big spot on my forehead. Oh, <laughs> well, you can see it so much in the camera. Look at this. Look like if a stain in my face. Oh, I love Good morning, guys. Don't mind this spot on my forehead. I like was just scratching my forehead and now it's like completely red. And I'm talking about it. I've just been touching it. So now it's even more you red. You touching it. I know. So like, it, look at this. <laughs> look at how red my forehead is. Yeah, so it's like 11 o'clock now. I've just been editing for the last like hour and a bit. I'm feeling so tired today. We're gonna. I'm not going to actually. Sebastian's going to go make me a coffee. I was going to oh, say yeah. we're going to go make me a coffee. I'm going to go now. It is, hey, you can stay here for a minute. Oh. We're talking. It is, what day is it today? Sunday, and it's a second Advent day in Germany. Happy so. belated second Advent if you're in Germany or if you are German. I know I have a bunch of people who watch that are from Germany. And it's also Nikolaus talk. It's Nikolaus talk. We talk about Nikolaus Tag every year. I think it's the cutest tradition. You want to do a little brief story for people who might not know? Tell them what sure. it is. Sure. It's like a mini Christmas before Christmas, actually. So on the 6th of December, um, in the morning when you wake up, um, kids usually go to the boots or stockings and there's something in there. And that's I wonder from if Nicholas, Saint, Saint Nicholas. I wonder if St. Nicholas came to us last night. Did he not? <laughs> Did he not come? Another thing you guys do is kind of like Halloween, you said, right? You go, to, like, you dress up and you go house oh, to yeah. house. Mm -hmm. it's and like Halloween. So sing when, I, songs. when I grew up, we didn't have Halloween. So that was kind of our thing. So um, we all dressed up. Then you go from house to house and you either, you either how do you say it? Say a poem? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so you either say a Christmas poem or you sing a song, a Christmas song. I feel like that is way better than Halloween. To yeah. do it around Christmas. I know you're putting all of the fun stuff in one month, but yeah. it just makes you look forward to it that I much like more. I like both. So now because of like everyone's watching the same movies and shows, um, they have more and more of like a Halloween in Germany yeah. too. But what's funny is when I came here and I and I was more aware of like the trick or treat thing. I was like, that's all you have to do? Like trick or treat? And that's how they give you like a candy? You because I was so like, easy. we had to work so hard. I was always thinking like, which song? Like, and like, I don't remember the lyrics. <laughs> 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 and, and then kids are in front of your door and they're like, uh, try to remember the lyrics and you're like, okay, whatever, here's the candy, right? It's, <laughs> it's hard sometimes. So you get a gift on your version of Halloween and candy. And it's in December. Yes. That's so awesome. I wish we would do something like that here. I think that's so fun. Yeah. I wish that like that was more of a North American thing too. We just celebrate it because he, he like, I remember the first time he ever gave me something. It was like when I, back when I lived in my hometown, he had like on, I didn't even know about the holiday. And then he was so cute. He gave me a little boot. I guess he must've like picked it up at the dollar store or something. <laughs> It's okay, it was so cute. And then he put like, I think a bunch of candies or something in there. I can't remember what it was, but it was a little like gift. And I was like, I think I like was crying. <laughs> Cause I was like, this is so cute. But yeah, that was really, and then when I moved here, he would do like, um, he, he would like go to Lush or like Bath and Body Works and like pick up some like wallflowers or things like that. And then over the years, it progressively got more and more extreme and i think he got me like better get like more <laughs> extreme gifts <laughs> like more expensive up. gifts but yeah. i didn't i never wanted more expensive gifts yeah. i just thought you're so was demanding i was like give me it? something better yeah. <laughs> like what a waste i expect an increase <laughs> every year yeah so uh today it is absolutely raining but i'm kind of happy about it because when it rains and i have a lot of stuff to do inside i feel less bad about no FOMO. yeah i don't have fomo i'm not stressed out about not being out there but i am kind of sad because i told you guys in a couple vlogs ago that we were supposed to have two weeks of like perfect weather and then all of a sudden the rain came back so now it's like two weeks of rain <laughs> you can't really see Oh yeah, you can see my little Christmas tree. Yeah, so there's like rain all over the window. 
This is my little Christmas tree. I have a garland around my doorway. I kind of want to get another one for this doorway. I think that would be really cute. Also very extra. I did this for my intro for Vlogmas. That wreath actually lights up too. You want to go turn that wreath on please? We need the extra lights. It can be turned it's on. too dark. Yeah, there's a little button on the side there. Oh, for the other button. Yeah, so we did this for Vlogmas just so that the scenes looked Christmassy because I was trying to do the Hallmark strategy and just have Christmas in every shot. <laughs> Uh, but I actually really like it now. So I kind of want to go grab another one of those garlands, which I saw them at Home Depot. Thank you. That is so cute. Perfecto. I don't know if you guys can tell. You can, you can probably tell. Pink is my room theme. I have my DIY wreath as well, which is pink. Should we check if St. Nick just brought something? I don't know if he brought anything for you. You've been a bad boy this year. Also, I have to talk to you guys later about my DIY video for this year. Mm -hmm. So let's check out St. Nicholas gifts. Let's go see. I love having a little Christmas tree in my room. And then here's my little tree. Look at this little baby Jesus. Is this not so cute? It's so cute. Uh, I actually have to fix it up a bit because I haven't really like tweaked it. I just kind of put it up and I didn't like remove the decorations from it last year. So I wonder which way is cuter. This way I think, yeah, this way is cuter. All right, we're downstairs now. So. Did Nicholas talk? I mean, did Nicholas talk? Did Nicholas. Did Nicholas take Did St. Nicholas bring did Saint anything? Did St. Nicholas bring anything? Where do you usually check? Well, I around? usually check around the trees. Oh. Do you not check around the trees? Oh. Did you check <laughs> your boots? Oh yeah, I always just leave my boots by the furniture. <laughs> wow, I, he didn't even unwrap it. <laughs> He must have been in a rush. It's because of the pandemic. <laughs> it's the global, oh. global supply chains have been breaking down. So oh, I thought you were going to say it's because he food. didn't add all his germs all over it. So this True. is a sanitized That's version. That's another reason he had. <laughs> okay. So this is what Sebastian got me. It's kind of funny. If you guys have been around since last year, then you would have seen the intro where I get Sebastian something that's like on his Christmas list. He has like a whole long list of things he wants for Christmas. And then the gift that he ends up giving me is like one of the things that was on his Christmas list. And it's kind of funny because this onesie was actually on his Christmas list. <laughs> I told him, I was like, I'm not gonna get you that onesie. He has this new thing with pink. He thought that I was gonna buy him the same onesie, and that we were gonna have these as Christmas onesies, but I'm actually not a huge fan of teddy bear stuff. But I'm gonna try it on after and see how it looks. It is a pretty color pink. Let's see what Nicholas brought for you. The Nicholas I know usually hides things close to trees though, not in front of furniture. Oh, I, got up, wow. I got up at like 5.30 to do this. I hurt you. Oh, you did? Yeah, I hurt you moving a bank around. So, oh, so this, good. it looks so cool on. The other colors had so many, and then there was only one left of this one, and I was like, okay, it must be the most popular one. I'm gonna get this one. Thank you, it looks so cool. You Put know, it on, you it's know so cute. Funny? What? If we would get this one in your size, and the other I one know. Mine, we would both be so happy. Sebastian bought me the onesie he wanted me to buy him. And I bought him a onesie I would have wanted him to buy me pretty much, but I thought that you would still like it because you already have a teddy bear onesie. Anyways, it looked really cool on the models. This is what happened. So I knew what he was gonna give me for Nicholas Tog because we had ordered the, our gifts from the same company and we were both expecting them on the same day. But and then he's but we didn't we didn't know that each other had ordered from there. From the same company. From the same or company. They or that they would arrive on pretty much on the same day. Yeah, we didn't know. So then what happened was he ended up bringing in my package to the house because his package arrived later. And I was like, I had a delivery notification for something and it's not here and you were telling me you were expecting something from the same shipper like like FedEx it was FedEx wasn't it or yeah. UPS no it was UPS right. and I was like you I think have my package and he's like it's so good that you didn't see the package because you would have known exactly what it was if you saw it because they had their brand all over it and then after us I was like I realized I was like great so he absolutely knows what I bought him but he thought I got him the other one it's so cute Thank you. It's also good because it's not as long as the other one. Yeah, can, it's not as tight, so I can hide when I'm, you know, it's you December hide your, and I can hide my uh, uh, food pregnancy. What do you call this? Food baby? Food, my food baby. Your food pregnancy. Yeah. But I also like that it's got like these patches on the sleeves and stuff. 
They had it in navy blue too, and I thought the navy blue was really nice. I almost ordered the navy blue, but I don't know. They really got me with the psychology because there was only one left in this one and for the right size, and there was like so many left in the other one, and I was like, oh no, I have to get this one because this must be the most popular one. So we're gonna prep our dinner for tonight, and I'm so excited to show you guys this. I've only made it one time, but it was incredible. It's not my recipe. I'm gonna actually save it for later on and tell you guys what I'm making, but we're gonna start prepping that now. Thought I would give a little update. It's like 12:30. I feel like today's vlog is gonna go up late because I have still so much to edit. I don't know what we're gonna be able to fit into today, but I'm very excited about dinner. Cheers. The last time we had it, it was just, it was so good. I could have it every day. You could have it every day, and there have been points where you did have it every day when we were in New York. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Don't look. Found it. No. Seriously. Why are you always so slow? You should wear my glasses when I do this. I was like, maybe I shouldn't include the footage of us opening our advent calendars today. But then I was like, oh wait, it's a six. It's probably gonna be a good one because we haven't had one in a really long time. And then here we go, a sugar pun. One ready? of these times I'm gonna beat you. You ready? One, two, three. Done it! Ah, oh, damn, yes. you first. It's 2.33 now. It's 2.33, I'm still working on yesterday's vlog. It's taking me forever. Uh, Sebastian's gonna go outside and start putting up our Christmas lights. It's the 6th of December and we're pretty much the only dark house in this neighborhood. That is People, not true. Okay, no, actually that's not true. We have some scroogey neighbors. We have so many neighbors who do such a crazy job for Christmas. That's true. We have a few neighbors. They have almost like a candy cane lane. Lane, there. yeah. I feel it started off not that intense. There was like just a few houses, but they put a lot of effort in and then I think the houses next to them didn't want to look bare in comparison so then they started to do intense stuff so now the whole neighborhood just really does crazy stuff maybe we should go for like a Christmas walk and and show the lights maybe yeah, on like a nice not wet day where it's nice and crisp out we can put our cozy clothes on hey guys so it's much later I've changed my top uh, it's like 7 o'clock now it's actually 701 and I've just been responding to comments that I haven't been able to get back to in the last couple days I hate when I'm not able to respond to comments it gives me anxiety I'd love to be able to like respond to everything that you guys send me what's up so my hair looks really weird right now. I am just gonna start making dinner in a second. We have had some chicken marinating in the fridge since like noon today, I think. And it needs to like be in the marinade for about seven to eight hours. So we're gonna get stuff started. Sebastian has to go down to our, it's not a basement, what is it called? Crawl space. Okay, it's a crawl space, but it's, it's taller than me. So it's not really a crawl space. I don't know, it's a short space. <laughs> <laughs> short space. It's a short people space. He has to go downstairs. We've actually just started using this space. We didn't have access to it before. So we've got all of our stuff down there and Sebastian's gonna go bring out our deep fryer. And we never really used the deep fryer. We probably used it like once every couple years. So we didn't think we would need it. Yeah, see, I fit down here. Wait, weren't there more lights before? Yeah, it looks darker now. Isn't that so weird? Yeah. It's this kinda is creepy. Weird. Oh, what was that? Did you hear the noise? Yeah, it is creepy down here. It's so weird down here. This is what it looks like. There's actually a ton of space down here. We've only used up like this small little portion of it. A lot of it's like camping equipment and filming gear. Are you sure we put the deep fryer in here? It's in one of the totes. Oh, I think really? maybe that clear one in the back. My fear is that this, cause there's like stairs that come down, but then on top, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like this thing that comes up. And I'm always so terrified. What if it shut and got locked? We just ended up, well, it gets really morbid, I guess, at this point. <laughs> but like, that would be my nightmare to be locked in like this dungeon where there's no windows, stale air. I'm giving myself anxiety just talking about it. So for dinner tonight, we are going to make something that is honestly incredible. We're making Shake Shack chicken sandwiches for dinner. And I first saw this on Ina Garden's YouTube channel. She made them and I guess the owner or founder or creator or whoever it is that came up with Shake Shack burgers actually published the recipe so she made them. This was obviously really exciting news for me because I love the Shake Shack chicken sandwiches. Obviously during the shutdown and lockdown and everything when all the restaurants were closed, we were and really, couldn't go to the and States. you couldn't go to the States. We were really missing junk food and fast food and stuff like that that we hadn't had in months. So we're like, well, let's try to make the chicken sandwiches and they were Incredible. So that is what we are making for dinner. Shake Shack chicken sandwiches. They're not healthy for you at all, but 
They are incredible for a treat, and if you don't live anywhere near Shake Shack, then you definitely need to try these. They are so good. Welcome to my cooking show. Sous Chef Knödel, Chef Schnitzel. I always said I should call you Schnitzel. We're making a Shake Shack's sandwich. And this is a very, very bad explanation of what we're having for dinner. We're making Shake Shack sandwich. <laughs> so if you've never had it or you don't live close enough to a Shake Shack and you're craving that chicken sandwich, this is going to be great for you if you didn't already know that the recipe is out there. So, I would like some too. It's just so good. It's, it's like... It's so that's good. how good I'm it speechless. is. It's so good. <laughs> vegetable oil into our deep fryer now. I don't know how much we actually need. Last time we ended up using like individual bottles. It is... Three liters. Oh yeah, we definitely need more. So let's use both of them. I think that's good. That's good. Stop. Yeah. Normally I would just montage this whole part and not tell you guys anything. But I'm going to leave all of the ingredients in the description bar below. And I will also link to Ina Garden's video because she actually talks through her thing. If I did that, my videos would be like a million years long. So I can't really do that. But we're going to double dip the chicken. The chicken is supposed to marinate for eight hours and we've had it there for now about eight hours. Okay? Yeah. I don't like to touch chicken, so I'm gonna let back and do this. Okay, so we have run into some technical difficulties. Our deep fryer has decided not to work on us anymore, but it's not that big of a deal. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make it over the stove with a Dutch oven, and we're going to use a candy thermometer to check the temperature. We want the temperature to be at 350 degrees. So I'm not gonna do this. I know, it's weird. He's like half a person right now. So we double dip, right? We so double dip. Put this one in here. Yeah. Like this. It goes into the powder and then goes back into the buttermilk. All right, first one done. Bam. 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 Are you not doing wet hand, dry hand? No, because you have to go back and forth anyways. Wet hand, dry hand. That way you don't end up with a club. Wet hand. Mm-hmm. Dirty hand. <laughs> like this, and then dry hand. Okay. You're learning. No, I will forget about it. I know you will, because I taught you the last time the same thing. <laughs> the double dipping makes all the difference. It gives you such a nice, like, thick coating on the chicken. All right, we're ready. First one is going in. Chicken is in, the oil's at 350. We're gonna leave this in here for two and a half minutes per side. And then we're going to put it on this wire rack to let the oil drip off of it, but also kind of cool a little bit. So to keep the oil at temperature, I'm only cooking three at a time. For buns, we're going to have these brioche buns. I'm gonna to toast them in the oven for a couple minutes just to Get them warm and a little bit toasty. Ooh, they're looking good. Right here? Yeah. How good does this look? Yum. Okay, so I'm gonna 
assemble it now. I've got some toasted brioche buns. They're like nice and warm. I'm gonna add some of the sauce. I know the sauce, it's a lot of sauce. It's so good and I felt like last time, we halved the recipe last time and we didn't have enough for all the sandwiches. And also it will last for like a couple days in the fridge. It's so good, I was literally eating it with a spoon earlier. So I'm adding some on both sides of the bun and this is an occasion where you would probably want extra because it's just that good. There was a very specific order that Ina showed. So it's called flavor building. I would have not known that, but Ina told me and I trust everything she says. She's my guru. I'm going to add lettuce. We used butter lettuce last time or like living lettuce, but we haven't been able to find any for a while. Sebastian was joking earlier that maybe the lettuce has salmonella. And I said, no, it probably has COVID. <laughs> I'm ordinarily someone who hates pickles on my burgers, on my sandwiches or anything. I love pickles in general, but like by themselves. On the Shake Shack burger, I actually love them. These are dill pickles and they're just sliced. The ones that Ina uses are like the little round disc pickles, but I couldn't find any of those. So this will have to do but they actually taste really nice. I think just with the herbs in general and then also kind of the chicken because it is battered, it really cuts through any kind of grease, if that makes sense. After that, I'm going to add a piece of chicken and how good does that look? And then I'm gonna put it on the top of the bun. And there you have your Shake Shack sandwich. And you guys, it is incredible. Don't let this footage fool you because it doesn't look that great, but it's so, so good. have dinner now I'm so excited to have this honestly we filmed it for the vlog because I thought it would be a really cool thing to share with you guys but I can't wait to dig into this it's literally such a good sandwich it tastes like fast food but better please give this a shot if you try it out let me know what you think obviously I didn't come up with this but I just love it so much hey guys so it's the next day now I'm upstairs in my bedroom obviously I've just been editing yesterday's vlog and I wanted to end the vlog but I also wanted to talk a little bit about my DIY video that I do every year because I do often get questions about it because it's like an annual reoccurrence. I used to just do videos like that, my like DIY mainstreamy type videos. Uh, and I love making those videos, but they take me so, so, so long. I'm so picky about how I do those videos. I planned the ideas for the video for this year. I think in like February of last year, like I already knew what I wanted to do. And in my head, I was like, I'm gonna film them all in the summer. I'm gonna film a bunch of good Christmassy videos in the summertime. And then I'm gonna post them all back to back in November. But then the pandemic hit and I was like not leaving the house. I was just so down. I was like, I don't even wanna go into my filming room. And so this year I had all my ideas ready, but I like started, okay. Sorry, Sebastian's texting me about work I have to do. I told you guys that I take a step back during December so that I can film Christmas videos because I wouldn't have time to do both, but I still do have to do like occasional things here and there. Uh, so what I was saying, what was I saying? Okay, so my battery died. I don't remember where I was at. I'm out of breath now because I just had to run up a bunch of stairs, but November hit and I was like still just not in this Christmassy mood because I knew my family wouldn't be coming this year. I just could tell with everything that had been happening prior to when we were starting to get more cases and stuff here that they would start putting restrictions on gatherings and things like that and people traveling to and from areas. So it was just like a really weird year. I actually filmed a bunch of DIYs and they're actually super cute. Like I love the DIYs. I love how they turned out, but just with the editing and I haven't finished filming them all, it doesn't really work with vlogmas schedule. I haven't even taken care of things around the house because I've been so tied up with editing and stuff with the vlogs. Um, I still haven't even touched my Christmas tree which needs to be fixed and it needs to be flocked and it needs to be decorated and it's like the 7th of December I think. Yeah, it's the 7th of December today. So it's definitely not gonna be decorated before tomorrow. I'm gonna make that my priority, taking care of that tree. Uh, it's difficult though because I still have to edit all of yesterday's vlog and I have a nail appointment at six. So I'm like hoping that yesterday's vlog gets up before six. So long Long story long, I'm not gonna be posting, I don't think, my DIY video this year. I think I'm gonna save it for next year because I have it mostly filmed and I know there's gonna be some people who might be upset about it because they're used to seeing that video from me every year. But I mean, it's a DIY decor video and who's doing DIYs or decor right now? Everyone's already decorated. I hope that next year is gonna be a better year and I feel like you guys are enjoying Vlogmas and I know that I would have to take days away from Vlogmas if I was gonna finish that video on time. Maybe I'll show you guys a sneak peek of like 
one or two of the DIYs that I did for the video and then you guys can have something to look forward to for next year. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog now. Sorry for this long ramble. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm like, every time I walk by the kitchen, I see the stuff for the sandwiches and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so good. I wanna have another one right now. After we made the food last night, I'm not even joking. I just ended up taking one of the chicken pieces and eating it by itself. I couldn't help myself. It was so good. You guys have to try it out. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Merry Christmas.